Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Gardening Organic. And today, we're going to talk about planting peas. Now, what you see here is newspaper under shredded leaves. Newspaper is great around peas especially because they are shallow rooted. And if you get weeds around your peas, it'll be very hard to pull them and not disturb the peas. So the first thing I do is take a shovel and remove some of the leaves that I had shredded as mulch away where I want to plant my peas. If any of the newspaper shifts while doing this, you can simply just put it back in place. The next thing I'm going to do is take a scissor and I'm going to cut about a three inch wide gap where I want to plant my peas. And this should be directly, on, directly under the trellis netting as shown in the video. And again, if any of the newspaper shifts during cutting, you can simply just put it back where it needs to be. Once I finish cutting all my newspaper, I take a shovel and I dig about a four to five inch deep trench along the trellis. And I'll place all this dirt into a bucket. I'll do this for each of my three pea trellises. Once I finish digging up the dirt from each of my three pea trellises, I'll place the dirt into a weir barrel and add some fertilizer. Here you just saw me add crab shell fertilizer by Neptune's Harvest. I have a separate video on this in case you want to know more. I'm also going to add some perlite. Perlite helps with drainage around your peas. And once you add all these amendments, make sure you give it a good mix. Lastly, I'm going to add a couple handfuls of Espoma Plantone. Espoma Plantone is a well-balanced 5-3-3 fertilizer. Peas don't need a lot of fertilizer, especially nitrogen. Peas fix their own nitrogen in the soil. Once you give this a good mix, I'm going to dump it back into the trenches that I made under each of my three trellises. Once you dump the dirt back in, take a shovel and give it a nice little uh, you know, layering and, and flattening out. Then I'll take my pea seeds and I'll place one about every three to four inches along the trellis. I do this by simply pushing them into the soil all along the entire trellis. Again, every three to four inches is what I do. The last step I do is I take some coconut core I'm a big fan of, of coconut core because it helps retain the moisture in the soil. Placing coconut core on, on top of the peas will help the soil retain moisture and will help your peas sprout quicker and easier. And as you see here, this is after five days and the temps in my area were about 55 degrees and the peas will begin to sprout. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and check back soon for more videos. Ciao.